All right, good morning. I want to take a second, and at the end of this video, I'm going to ask you to sign a petition specifically about Higby and Associates and pick rights out of Canada. And really, there's a couple others I'm probably going to name throughout this video. And then really, if I could just get you to like, share, maybe build a link or two to this video and sign that petition, maybe we can kind of get some kind of actual action against this company or some kind of real content out there and honestly if you're like a lawyer make a video and in the comments below if you were to just kindly paste the link to that video and address this issue i want to start a thread i want to start a thread for the people by the people and honestly i'm so sick of this fucking company i can't even begin to tell you so before i start cussing my head off and getting really upset let me just lay it out for you honestly here we go boom I am using a plugin on a website, right? And it's just a travel website. I got some affiliate bullshit on here, but honestly, it's just an, an educational website that teaches people about fun things to do, uh, mainly in, in Mexico, right? Honestly, absolutely ridiculous. And so, uh, yeah, so, so I'm using a plugin. This whole thing is a plugin. It's actually called YouTube Pro. It's, it's on the WordPress platform, right? There's all kinds of different ways you can display stuff, but I want you to know, it's 100%, you know, all legit. It's a feed from Facebook. And so here we go. Here, th this guy right here, and I'm going to show you a whole bunch of stuff. That th the amount of hours I've had to put into this bullshit. And based on this right here, this stupid letter, I don't know. I, I, I lost my little picture on the screen there. I'm pretty sure you're seeing that. But, you know, I got a whole packet of information from these guys, and it says nothing, really. It has their codes, their their information that doesn't actually list anything where I can look anything up. It's a straight up threat. That's all it is. And honestly, it is 2014, 2024, uh, 828. It's August, end of August in 2024. Let's just hop back here to my email and look. This shit started all the way back here in 2018. That is six years ago. Yeah, that's more as six and a half years ago. Within 14 days, guys. I'm a little late. Oops. And so, yeah, just look. This is that Matthew guy, Matthew Higby. And that's before he really expanded to the, the new terrorist that actually is leaving messages on my voicemail now. Ah. And so, look. You know, letter, 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 letter. Just nothing but threats. And honestly, I've deleted. Honestly, they go in, all these things go into the... The, the spam box and so the spam gets deleted every 30 days i don't even know how to go back and actually see how many freaking letters they've actually sent i bet you it's over 100 it's just over 100 and ultimately let's go ahead and just lay it out right now okay this guy right here igor i can't even see your last name dude i i, I appreciate you i totally freaked out on this guy right and only let's just go ahead and we'll look at it i sent him a letter telling him that he uploaded a video to youtube Right, and the image and, and, and you know, on there, for some reason, I'm getting threats from a lawyer about his image and how the image, and, and the image is licensed to YouTube when he agrees to upload his videos to YouTube. Now, I actually talked to the guy. Not talked to him, I think I talked to him on the phone too. But straight up, he, sent, he contacted me back. He's like, I don't know who you are or what you're talking about. I'm like, okay, great. So I, I sent him another letter. Perfect. That means this is your video. Then somebody in your name is threatening people in the U.S., probably a scammer, but they have filed through what appears to be a real lawyer. Thought you should know. Sorry to bother you, but this is serious for us. If that's your video, then this is a scam and I'll ignore it. Here's the article about what's going on. And so here's a, a whole thing uh, about this, this company. And honestly, you could go and just Google uh, Higby and Associates or Pick Rights or even this Agency France press thing, right? There's a whole group of them that actually, and apparently, I think it's Pick Rights has set up some kind of business in a whole bunch of countries. Um, I don't know what's the truth anymore. You, you go through the internet, it's just a freaking swamp, isn't it? And so, yep, it even looks like they're suing Twitter, Elon. Hey, Elon, buddy, how about we come up with some way of, uh, you know, I'm going to post it up on your Twitter, man, on your X. I'm sorry, I don't want to call it Twitter again. Uh, and so, yeah, we'll post it up on X, and, uh, and, and I'm going to ask... Uh, you know, if, if somebody could maybe help out here, we'll put this petition up. Honestly, these people are threatening you. They're threatening a lot of little people that really, you know, just they're insulted. And these guys are robbing people. It is extortion. Honestly, I don't know how how this company 
or pick rights. Honestly, Canada, you should be ashamed of yourself. Honestly, I normally talk great about the Canadians, but in this particular instance, you guys got a felon, in my opinion, that is literally hiring companies in other countries and terrorizing its citizens. That's not, that's not what the Canadians are about. Honestly, that is anti-Canadian all the way, and I understand that's not you guys, but it is the ball's in your court. Honestly, we're going to create a petition, and I'm hoping people across the world will sign it. And ultimately, let's present it somewhere. Let's present it to different nations. I'm just going to – the petition will be to whom it may concern in government or in, in public place, right? And I'm going to write this whole thing. It'll be up uh, sometime when you see this video, right? And so just consider that uh, there are all kinds of people out here talking about – copyright trolling stuff there are videos etc etc right and there's even lawyers out here feeding off of all this right like this guy just 179 dollars and i'll make this go away for you or i'll consult with you and tell you how where you are and so at the end of the day i tell you i don't agree with any of this honestly if you're a lawyer and you're honorable honestly i believe in this country but i'm losing my faith really fast if you're a lawyer and you're a good guy i'm one of the top ranked google content you know competitor research kind of douchebags honestly this company shouldn't have picked a fight with me i am going to get involved now i'm going to get involved i'm going to dedicate uh, three hours a week for the next 52 weeks all right so somebody reach out to me if you're a lawyer and you've got a solution to all this make a video put it in the comments below and then i will with your permission you put put a little permission tom please promote this and i'm going to push it to the top of google yahoo and bing yes Yes. All right. So sign the petition and let's just keep on rolling along here because there's things on Reddit and everywhere else about just how screwy this is. And I've read somewhere that uh, they estimate that this company's sending out 150,000 emails either a year or a month. I think it was a month. All right. And so it's crazy how, how bad this really is. And it just makes our judicial system look like more of a joke. Honestly, let's go back to this again. A plugin from YouTube. All the rights are actually granted to YouTube when the person uploads the video. Now, I find it hard to believe that this dude right here, right? My boy Igor. I I'm sorry, dude. I'm going to give you free publicity. It's not Igor. Igor didn't do shit, guys. Don't hate Igor. All right? This dude's a diver. He actually made a video about visiting Cancun. And honestly, he took the damn thing down for a while. Um, after my my pissing with him and uh, and 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 it looks like he changed the actual cover video right this is the cover video right here that's different now than what actually was the original clip art for that video right it was this and and so that's changed and so that's good that's smart but honestly um I'm still dealing with these guys you saw all the letters I'm getting and it just hasn't stopped yet and so yeah I I honestly just need to figure out what to do about these guys and so. Uh, I just kind of go a little farther here. You know, uh, blah, 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 talking about that thing here. I'll change the image now, and you remove it from your website or update after I change my image and ignore these scammers. Fuck them. Seems they're based in Canada and can't do shit. Scammers, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Sorry this happened to you. Video was posted many years ago. And so, honestly, this is his video. It's his picture, and he does not know pick rights. He does not know Higby and Associates, all right? And, um, yeah. I'm a normal person, so if I did it, you can also. I say he's talking about, so when I talk to him on, on the phone, you know, he, he's actually a very popular blogger. And I think this video has, like, a lot of views. How many videos, how many views does he have? Oh, he has 614 views. So I don't even know how these people, like, I thought it was a much more popular video than that. And I'm just totally insulted by the whole thing with this Higby company. And they got this lady, this chick, calling my phone number now. Honestly, I've been trying to just blow them off and not let them get to me. But I have to say that they've gotten to me. It ruined my morning again. And I said the next time that I saw something from them and they triggered and got my attitude going. Because honestly, I don't know if you meditate. I'm somebody who likes to meditate and try to, like, quell all the storm I got brewing from, like, my American life that's supposed to be so awesome and really isn't, and gas is still, you know, over $3 a gallon. And, uh, yeah, really, at the end of the day, crazy, crazy, crazy. And I want you to know, that nothing else on this page that's, you know, honestly, it, it's just this stupid, it's a quick look. And honestly, for years, I had no content on this page, right? There was no content on this page. It was just an embedded thing 
that people could go and they click through a list of fun things to do when they went to Cancun and they could just, and honestly, it wasn't even monetizing the damn site. Like, really. I finally monetized it with some, some goofy vacation shit. But at the end of the day, and again, it calls them, right? <laughs> it's not me. Uh, yeah, no. This is 100% a feed from uh, the good old uh, people. And, uh, and uh, yeah. I'm not even going to show you the plugin. All right. But the bottom line is, I'm not full of shit. <laughs> and, uh, nope, we don't want to show you that. And that's my other shit. Let me see here. I got something else I wanted to show you. Ah, what shocks me is they've got an A rating with the BBB. And again, the BBB is really letting people down these days, aren't you guys? How does a copyright troll like this game your system? Yeah. Gold's Gym. I've scored a free assessment. Oh, my goodness. That is the worst company in the world. There's such a mold problem over Gold's Gym right now in Daytona Beach. Just Google Gold's Gym Daytona Beach mold, and you'll be amazed. That'd be my, that's my other project right now, honestly. Ah, unreal. There's two petitions. Sign the other petition, guys, because we need mold laws. But at the end of the day, we need laws against copyright trolls, people that are abusing their legal rights, their, their, le their, their lawyer stuff. We need to get the bar involved, and honestly— there needs to be a counter lawsuit. If you're a lawyer that says, oh, I'll put the time in it, what, what kind of time are you ever going to put into it, right? You're going to send some letters. You're just going to threaten them the way they threaten us. Honestly, as an American, I'll give you a couple bucks a month. We find 100,000 people that are pissed off at this company. And let's put up a little link, a dollar a month, dollar every six months. I mean, it's got to be reasonable. I don't want you to make a million dollars off of this. We want to absolutely take this guy's legal license away and shut down all of his law firms across the U.S., at least in the U.S. And in Canada, I believe Canada will do the right thing if they're just, you know, somebody makes them aware of it. The prime minister or whoever, whoever up there will do the right thing. Canadians are awesome people. They're not like us Americans, honestly. Most of us Americans are so pathetic. We're not even going to sign a petition, honestly. You just don't even get off your sofa even when shit goes and hits the fan, right? So, hey, how about just a, a quick, you know, you tom or you know something like share post a stupid comment um if you are a creator and you've got a legitimate problem with copyright infringement hey i'm so sorry it's not me honestly you guys have created a problem and it's like well, i didn't create nothing yeah you did you are empowering a group of people who have now come up with the idea that they can just randomly attack anybody they want they just honestly this is a telemarketing and an email marketing and a postal scam and honestly so there's got to be laws there that have been broken if they're threatening people through the united states post service all right that's got to be illegal and really just terroristic threats against your general neighbors is got to be illegal and honestly again an unbacked claim unbacked it's not backed there's nothing in this letter that says go here to see where this copyright has been filed and you are in breach of something honestly i'm telling you i didn't breach dick and at the end of the day i've been harassed and harassed and harassed and i'm offended bbb offended there's 44 refuse here and and they got a four out of five star that's got to be half fake it's got to be half fake i can't imagine that anybody's given this company a positive anything Really, I find that very hard to believe. And and really, you could come here and read through these re reviews. That actually, not reviews, but the complaints filed. It is pretty extensive. And keep in mind, the BBB only keeps records back three years, and then he just falls off the back end. And this company is just trolling, been trolling for, well, since 2018 when I got first notified. And it's been going on a lot longer than that. Okay, and so you can just see, I'm just going to quickly, just, I'm not quickly, I'm just going to go through that. You can pause this anytime. You can read these people's comments. It's absolutely retarded that uh, this up, what, four pages? How many more pages after four? Yeah, just really. Folks, I don't know what to say about all this. I'm hoping somebody smarter than me will hop in the comments below. If you're a lawyer and you're serious about doing something about this and you're willing, and I, I don't want you soliciting, all right? If you're going to try to just get 150 bucks or 200 bucks out of somebody, Really, this opportunity is not for you. This opportunity is for the guy that steps up and impresses me because I have a serious set of skills. And I will not turn a blind eye. I will return the favor to you. 
and uh, and I will help boost your YouTube, help boost your website. I will help build the links to your thing. In fact, I'll encourage you to embed my video on your website so that I could put a link in the video and so that people will start linking to that video and linking to your stuff in a positive and powerful way and push you to the top of the Google search result page, right? The SERPs. And so, yeah, just dig it. This is just absolute pain in my rear end. And so, um, yeah, again, just threats after threats after threats. And really, they're trying to get you to log into their portal so they can, what, see that they uh, they played some game. They're, they're never going to court. And if they try to go to court, I'm just going to be just dumbfounded that any judge, honestly, this problem can't be at the level of the judicial thing. There's no way that that, that they can show that this that I've done something. This is through the YouTube, you know, API, you know, thing, and it pulls its own little picture to the site. It pulls its own picture. Every one of these is is pulled off of, and honestly, off of his video, you know, that that's actually his damn, you know, that's him swimming around in the freaking video. Right, it's him. He's he. You know, one of them's the cameraman, and they got two two friends. It's like three of them that are traveling, right? They're traveling, right? And 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 so no, I don't know what's going on here. I wish I could find the exact still moment that 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 thing was uh, in my little thing. It's like back here somewhere. And uh, and honestly, I I don't know. I might spend a little more time dicking with it, but it's just it's actually annoying. And really. Pick rights, Higby and Associates. I'm gonna ask one more time, you sons of bitches. Send me the official copyright notice. I want the actual person, whoever is suing, whoever is initiated with pick rights in Canada. I insist. I want to know who your client is and what their claim is and where the copyright was filed. Right? I want it all. And if you intend to go to court, I intend to go to court. All right? I intend to go to court. And I'll just file bankruptcy. You'll still get nothing. At the end of the day, you're not getting nothing from me. Nothing. Zero zilch. Nada. I've done nothing wrong. And I will not be extorted. I will not be cheated. You are a dishonest group of men and women. That is my public and personal opinion based on the, the rights of the United States of America. Freedom of press. And so, no. I highly disagree. And since I've already talked to uh, the apparent guy that owns... This entire video, you could take it up uh, with him. Honestly, it's not me. Take it up with YouTube. Take it up with Igor. Or literally, this, this you know, and really at this point, you pissed me off so much. The video is staying up forever. And please, let's build a shrine to these people. Again, if you're a lawyer and you think you can help out here, I didn't mean to say you couldn't monetize things. It's, the guy's going to be weed whacking out here. I want some justice so how do we get justice sign a petition if somebody else has an idea how to get justice short of something illegal let me know in the comments below thank you very much i appreciate you let's get it done here in 2024 or 2025